<laughs> what have we got here then? Should be a little pin through that hole. There's no pin. Pin missing. Not a good start, is it that? Right, you see that? All done. That's not this slide out of there. Which is what the pin holds in. Now luckily this end does have the uh, pin that is holding the spring. Let's give it a tap with this. Don't tap it all the way through. Here we go. Nice and easy that one. Don't knock it all the way through because you won't be able to turn the you won't be able to turn this uh, drive screw around to, to get it back out. Once you've got it to there, what you need is a nice pair of Elliot Lucas with some vicious teeth on. Pull the pin out, that was that was really easy. There we go, off, lovely. This has got a washer here, can we see that washer there? Hold on to that, pull the rest, we're going to have a washer. There's no reason that won't come out of there now because, like I say, the pin's missing from there. In a minute, we'll Very gentle. Bit of cast. Right. That's that bit. Cool, watch this. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh. There we go. So what we got there is right. no washer, that's why. Mm, that needs a washer. That needs a washer between there and the pin. Now anyway, in with the pin. Washer in there. You never know if someone's took it apart, put it back together, miss bits out, whatever. Right. Now it's time to move on to removing the jaws if possible. Okay, so you want to scrape the screw slots out. You try and put the right size screwdriver in there. No, that's okay. Amazing. And that's okay. Don't force them. You end up breaking them, rounding them off. If you can't get them out, just leave them in. Go round the jaws. You can still clean everything up really well. Even with the jaws on, you can still clean the device up really well. If you can get them off, it's a bonus. Remember, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if it ain't broke, don't force it. Or you might have to fix it. Well, it's never as bad as it looks, is it? I got some second hand uh, some second hand degreaser that I've already used. Again, still good. And there we are. Now, they need a rinse, all right? All rinsed off and dried, now it's over to the wire wheel. This turns out to be a particularly easy clean-up because this paint is definitely not original. After I took the red off, I did find some remnants of some original record blue. So somebody in the past has stripped this and repainted it. Not using any undercoat. That's where the paint come off so easy. So I'm using 20 flat disc here just to take out the, the really heavy marks that are on the jaws. Not all of them because it's an old voice. Just sympathetic clean on the jaws on this one.
The bad casting marks, however, they need to totally disappear. Okay, so a quick clean now with a 70% alcohol or two. Get all the grime off so that the paint sticks well. This is getting an undercoat first because of the type of paint this time. And remember, a good bit of preparation with the masking tape saves minutes, hours later on. You must masking tape up the slides where the dynamic jewel run up and down, otherwise it, it won't run smoothly if you paint them. It must be metal to metal. So because I'm going with wine red as a top coat, I'm using red primer here. Make sure you check everywhere, especially underneath your spraying, because if you miss something, this is the only chance you get. Okay, and on to the top coat. Wine red it is. I just pulled the camera back now and finished it on them and you can see the heater on the left there blowing straight into there it will heat that cupboard up to about 70 degrees centigrade I mean that's an incredible heat in that box it just dries the paint off in this weather lovely Advice in. Alright, then this has to go that way. That way. So you turn the vice over and put it in there like that. Line the thread up, which you can see through the hole. Give it a couple of turns. And then you need to pull it forward. Right. Now you can give it your other couple of turns. I'm holding it in place with my thumb and middle finger while I'm winding that through. Okay, that's the pin for the other thing. I need to find a pin that's going to fit there now, and it needs to be. It needs to stick out just enough to hold the slide in place.
Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.